General John Corley, and all of Air Combat Command. Thank you for your attendance this weekend. Thank you for your patriotism. And above all, the F-22 team wants to thank all the volunteers out here in Oceana, because without all those hardworking individuals, we could not do what we do and what we love. Thank you, Master Sergeant Tim Green. Ladies and gentlemen, join me in a round of applause for the Mustang, for the Raptor, and for the Heritage Flight. Let me hear it big time all the way up and down the line. Thank you, Timmy. Thanks, nice John, buddy. I will see you very, very soon. I think I'm going to see you next at Marine Career Station Miramar. Dynamite. Thanks, Chris. We'll see you, buddy. T-17 on the roll. Watch come back. Blow the stick like a fighter. Dog. Absolutely phenomenal. Coming right up. We've got lots more for you, including our friend Bill Left, who's going to fly a North American T-6 Texan. But I want you to look to your left again. This is a Lockheed C-130 Hercules aircraft. With a wingspan of 132 feet, just 12 feet longer than the Wright Brothers' first flight on December 17, 1903. That flight lasted 12 seconds, again, 120 feet, and it changed the world forever. Since that time, a number of different types of airplanes have been built with very new production runs. But since the early 1950s, the C-130 has proved itself to be such a great airframe that with improvements in engine technology and other avionics improvements, over 2,000 C-130 Hercules aircraft have been built and they continue to roll off the production line new from Lockheed Martin's Marietta, Georgia plant today. Here comes the C-130, representing your United States Air Force. With four Allison turboprop engines. Getting ready to pull back, gain some altitude, and head on home. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to introduce to you a man flying to North American P-6 Texan. As I mentioned earlier, the Texan or the British equivalent to Harvard was in no small part responsible for the development of the P-51 Mustang flown by Dale Stark Snodgrass right here today. Retired Navy Captain Dale Snodgrass in that Mustang.